Hello again, it's Mimi's from Mimi's Worms, and today I wanted to come back and show you how to finish up your wheatgrass. Now, I didn't get a chance to video um, from the last video, uh, putting it on here, so we did some more. Um, but as you can see, these two have already started sprouting. Now, the cardboard is not sprouting as well as the peat moss, so... I'm not really sure how that's going to turn out. Um, I also discovered that you don't want to put, you don't want to fill this jar up. You want to put maybe about a cup to your mason jar. And then <clears throat> when we go to sprinkle it on here, you're just going to pour that out into something that'll let the water uh, come through. And we're going to come back and uh, rinse this out. But for now, for illustration, I'm just going to show you. Now, all you want to do is just come in here and sprinkle this on the top. You want your peat moss or your cardboard to be pretty wet. You don't want it, like, standing water wet, um, but you do want it really, really moist. And then you're just going to sprinkle these over the tops, just like so. Now those that's already sprouting has been there a couple of days. Um, you do want to come back and spritz them at least once or twice a day. Might should have had another tray, but that's okay. It'll just be more on this tray. You can also make these pans like this and do them in that as well. Um, I've done them like that before. As a matter of fact, we'll we'll do some like that. I'll go ahead and make a make one like that and uh, come back and show you. I'm just lining the bottom with it, and then what I'll do is I'll just keep uh, adding water and letting that water seep out um, every day, about two or three times a day, and we'll see how this goes. But for now, that's all you do, and you let them sit. And like I said, you just keep spritzing them. Um, each day and uh, keeping them moist and then they'll start sprouting. We've got two other pans in the peat moss already sprouting so we'll come back again and show you what the progress is after a few days um, so that you can kind of see how it how it just really starts forming. You don't have to have light for these that's what's really weird. Um, so anyway that is this conclusion for this piece and um, we'll come back in again in a few days and let you see where we're at for now that's all we have this is Mimi with Mimi's Worms again if you have not liked subscribed or shared our videos hit that notification bell so that you can be notified each time we have a new video coming out we're starting to try to get back into doing a lot more of our videos but uh, because this is the slower time of year if you need worms don't hesitate to go over to mimiswormscom uh, We do have pure red wigglers, so there's a lot of people out there that don't or that are selling a mix off as a pure red wiggler. Um, but we, we have pure stock, so we'll be glad to help you guys out, especially if you're new to it. You really want to stick to the pure red wigglers. Once you get into it, you could go to the blues or the euros. But, you know, as a new person, you really want to stick to the um, red Wigglers. They are the most docile, easygoing, forgiven, you name it. Now this I'm just going to take over there, like I said, and I'm going to wet it and I'm just going to keep it wet and we'll let you see how all this comes out. Until next time, guys, y'all have a wonderful day.